Hi, this is Jan Gray, and I hope you're having a fantabulous day. I've gotten several messages from folks asking me if I would walk you through the process of how I go from when I have been studying um, a passage of scripture and how I go from there into my journaling Bible. And I think that's a great question, and I'm sure that everybody does it a little differently. But for me, my process is that I start with my Bible study and I've been keeping track of that in this bullet journal. And for those of you that may not know, um, I am working with a group of folks and we are reading through the New Testament throughout the year of 2018 and we're journaling our way through as well. So it's really great. It's just a chapter a day in the New Testament Monday through Friday and we're reading it chronologically and that is really been um, so eye-opening and insightful because we read the same story multiple times because we're reading um, each of the Gospels in the chronological order so one day we'll be reading in Matthew and the next day we'll be reading in Luke and it's the same stories and so it's really reinforcing um, well-known stories for me, but giving me this new insight, and I'm really loving doing that. And as, as a result of that, I am wanting to transfer a lot of things into my journaling Bible. So this was a great time to kind of walk through that process. So this is my bullet journal that I do my study in. And the passage that I'm wanting to work on comes out of um, Matthew chapter 9 uh, verse 22 where there was a Jesus was walking through a crowd on his way to meet with somebody else and there was a woman who had been very sick for 12 years um, not exactly sure what she had but um, it said that she had been bleeding for 12 years and I'm sure that she was worn out and anemic and at her wits end and the scripture says that she said to herself if I could just touch the hem of Jesus's robe then I would be healed and so she makes her way to the edge of the path where he is walking by and she just reaches out and and touches the the hem of his hem of his robe doesn't call attention to herself just touches her robe but Jesus feels the healing power that um, transferred from him to her and he stopped and he turned around and he noticed her and he knew exactly what she needed. He knew that she was sick. He knew that she needed healing. And he knew that her faith had brought her to him, believing that he could heal her. And so he draws attention to her, or stops and talks to her, and he says, Daughter, be encouraged. Your faith has made you well. And oh my goodness, I love that passage. It has just really spoken to me because all of us have some aspect of our life that we need encouragement in. It may not be that you're suffering from an illness, but it may be a difficult time that you're walking through and and we just need encouragement from the Lord. And, and this particular passage of scripture reminds me that Jesus sees us specifically, specifically, but that when the key component in many of the passages that we've been talking, reading this, the last couple of weeks, have focused on the times that people have come and asked Jesus to heal them or raise um, a child from the dead. And in doing that, they have come believing that Jesus was their only answer. And the truth is, He is our only answer. But each of them, when they have been healed or when he has promised to do what they have asked him to do, he says, your, he says your faith has healed you. And that is my takeaway from this. Whatever it is that I need from Jesus, I need to come to him in faith, believing not only that he can, but that he will.
And so that is what I wanted to capture here. And so I've done my study and that's kind of my process. I start and I've completed the study and I, I close it and I, I go about the rest of my day and I, I think about it and I meditate on it and I ponder on it. And then in that process, I begin to have um, maybe an image that I want to do. And, and this one just kind of was so obvious that the imagery should be the, the lady reaching out to touch the hem of Jesus. And so I went and searched on Google and found an image that depicted this. It's just the sandal, the hem of the robe, and her hand. And so I thought that's what I would do. So I'm going to um, grab my Bible and transfer this into it. And then once I've got it transferred, I'm going to turn some music on and let you just watch the process. But before I do, I just want to encourage you that as you're watching um, me create this illustration in my Bible, if there's something that you need from Jesus, um, begin pondering that and meditating on it and talking to him about it. Let him know specifically what it is. And then most importantly, come with faith, believing that he can and will be the answer to whatever the problem or obstacle or need is um, that you're facing. So I hope you enjoy watching this and I'll come back and, and talk to you when the project is done.
So we're finishing up a few little details here. I know this has been a long video. All in all, I probably put about 10 to 12 hours into this. Obviously have sped it up quite a bit, but so many of you have asked to watch a process from start to finish on one of these more elaborate um, pages and I was glad to do that for you. It's fun sometimes to give a little extra time to a, a page and I really felt like this one was worth it because this this particular page has meant a lot to me. Um, I just feel like we need to reach out to Jesus for the things that that we need and and he is that answer so this was a good reminder again this came out of the group the illuminated journaling new testament journey group where we're reading through the new testament would love for you to join us just ask over on facebook to join be sure and subscribe and i'll be back with another video real soon